Sup bros, this time we're in the southern hemisphere, and we're going to view things from the perspective of that of Australia. Are there any constellations in this hemisphere that you can use to find north? Yes there is. The Southern Cross is what we shall set our focus on today, so let's crack on. Here is the Southern Cross constellation. Its technical name is Crux, just FYI but it's a cross, slightly wonky, in the sky of the Southern Hemisphere. So the Southern Cross is a very fitting name, right? Amongst the cross is a little star that's just chilling on the side, and consider that a little beauty spot, some Marilyn Monroe action. But Crux is a small constellation, but composed of very bright stars closely clumped together. So strikingly noticeable and enticing. But take note of these two bright stars off to the side of Crux. They will come in useful later, and they are referred to as the pointers, and we'll soon understand why. But for those Australians, New Zealanders, Papua New Guineans, Brazilians and Samoans that aren't familiar with the Southern Cross constellation, the first place to look for it is on your national flag. How about that? A constellation that is of much significance. Sexy flags. So now we know what the constellation looks like, let's talk about how Crux travels across the sky very briefly. Do we need to look out for it being upside down or tipped upon its side? Yes we do! The Southern Cross travels around the South Celestial Pole, which is the point in space that the Earth's South Geographic Pole directly points towards. So as we rotate during the day, from our perspective, the Southern Cross rotates around that point in the sky. So you may observe the Southern Cross like this, like this, like this, or like this, but it's still recognisable despite its orientation, it's just something you have to look out for. But we can identify this cross in the sky despite its varying orientation by use of the pointer stars that are always within close proximity. These bright pointer stars are important as we could possibly visualise a cross in several regions of the sky out of any arrangements of stars. But the two pointer stars, two massive bright stars, indicate that the cross you found is indeed the Southern Cross. So let's play with some examples of that. The goal for you is to locate the Southern Cross in these images. Six seconds for each image, but you can pause the video if you'd like more time. Pretty easy, right? The pointer stars always give us some confirmation that the cross we're looking at is indeed the Southern Cross. So now we're familiar with the constellation, what we're going to do is use the constellation to pinpoint the south celestial pole in the sky, and as a consequence, find south, with a little bit of imaginary line game. Short and sweet, all you need to do is shoot an imaginary line directly out the bottom of the cross, and shoot a line directly out the middle of the pointer stars, and the point in the sky where these lines meet is the south celestial pole. Face directly towards this point in the sky, and you will be facing directly south. Now it's important to note that you should go downwards with the cross, not outwards away from the cross, otherwise who knows where you'll end up. Downwards with the cross, repeating for emphasis, and that's all there is to it. With the southern cross, shoot imaginary lines out the bottom of the cross and the pointer stars, and the point in the sky where the two lines meet is south. An alternative method is available, however. If you take the distance of the top star of the cross down to the bottom star of the cross, then apply that same distance four times downwards out the bottom of the cross, that will also take you to the south celestial pole. Face directly towards that point in the sky and you will be facing south. Just follow that point down to the horizon and be off on your way. You may find this method much more memorable, but I figured I'd mention both methods for the sake of variety. So if we go back to one of our examples, let's find directions with it. Cross, pointers. Shoot a line out the cross and the pointers. This point in the sky where the two lines meet is south. Turn 180 degrees, you'll be facing north. Well played. So there you go, the Southern Cross, a constellation of much national significance that points to a very significant point in the sky.